بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل لرن ود فاظم ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ نیو سلیبس پنجاب بک فاؤنڈیشن فزکس ایس ایس سی ٹو یونٹ نمبر فورٹین فرنٹ الیکٹریسٹی ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ ایس ایل او بیس According to FDIC requirement, numerical problems, question number 1 to 4, in part 1, remaining inshallah in next part. Now let's start the today lesson, numerical problem, question number 1. In question number 1, given statement, a current of 3 milliampere is following through a wire. for a 1 min what is the charge of following through the wire now according to the given statement first of all we write the given data in given data current i is equal to 3 milli ampere here 1 milli is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 So current I is equal to 3 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 ampere, and time T is equal to 1 min. That is equal to 60 second. Now we can require that charge that is equal to Q is equal to constant mark. We can use the formula. We know that. I is equal to Q upon T, so Q is equal to I T. In solution, we know that I is equal to Q upon T. This implies that Q is equal to I multiplied by T. Now putting the values, then Q is equal to 3 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by time 60 seconds. Now 60. 3 multiplied by 60 that is equal to 180 so q is equal to 180 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb now we can say that charge q is equal to 180 milli coulomb so m coulomb is also denote 10 to the power minus 3 here result of this value of charge 180 milli coulomb now we will start the numerical problem question number 2 in question number 2 given statement at 100000 it means here one law ohm resistance how much current follows through the body if the you touch the terminal of 10 volt battery if your in is weak now so that your resistance is only 1000 watt ohm how much current would you receive the same battery in given statement we can see that here two resistance are given and battery battery voltage v is also given now write the given data resistance r1 is equal to 1 lakh and voltage v is equal to 12 volt and also resistance r2 is equal to 1000 ohm now we can require that current i1 and also current i2 now we can use the formula according to ohm's law v is equal to i r then we can calculate i so in solution we know that v is equal to i1 r1 this implies that i1 is equal to v upon r1 here putting the value of v and r1 value of v is 12 and r1 is 1 log ohm now 12 divided by 1 log then i1 is equal to 1.2 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 ampere 
Similarly, in V part, V is equal to I2 R2. So this implies that I2 is equal to V upon R2. Now putting the value of V and R2, this implies that I2 is equal to 1.2 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 2 ampere. Now the result of I1 in A part that is equal to 1.2 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 4 ampere. And in B part, I2 is equal to 1.2 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 2 ampere. Now we will move the next numerical numerical problem, question number 3. The resistance of a conductor wire is 10 mega ohm. If the potential difference of 100 volt is applied across its end, then find the value of the current passing through it in a milliampere. So here, first of all, we find the current and change into milliampere. Now, according to the given statement, write the given data. In given data, we write that resistance R is equal to 10 mega ohm. Here, 1 mega is equal to 10 raised to power 6. Now, resistance R is equal to 10 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 ohm. And also, potential difference that is denoted by V is equal to 100 volt. Now, we can calculate the current. So, required current I is equal to question mark. We using the formula according to Ohm's law, V is equal to I R. In solution, we can rearrange. So, we know that V is equal to I R. This implies that I is equal to V upon R. Now, we can putting the values I is equal to 100 divided by 10 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6. So, this implies that I is equal to 10 raised to power minus 5. This implies that we can convert into milli. So, we can write that I is equal to 10 raised to power minus 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 3. Here, the value of current I is equal to 10 raised to power minus 2 milliampere. And also, we can write that I is equal to 0 0.01 milliampere. So the result of this question, the current I is equal to 0 0.01 milliampere. Now let's start the next numerical problem. In numerical problem, question number 4. The question number 4 given statement by applying a potential difference of 10 volt. Across a conductor, a current of 1.5 ampere passing through it, how much energy would be obtained from the current in a 2 minutes? Here we can calculate the energy with respect to time. Time is 2 minutes. Now, according to the given statement, we write the given data. In given data, Potential difference V is equal to 10 volt and current I is equal to 1.5 ampere. So the time T is equal to 2 minutes, that is equal to 2 multiplied by 60. 2 multiplied by 60, that is equal to 120 seconds. Now, required that energy that is equal to work done we denoted by W is equal to question mark. We using the formula W or energy E is equal to I square R T. So in a solution, we know that energy is equal to I square R T. Here I into I R multiplied by T. We can write and rearrange in this form. Here 
according to the ohm's law v is equal to i r then putting the value of i r in the form of v so we can arrange the formula work or also called energy is equal to i v t so putting the value value of i is 1.5 multiply by value of v is 10 and also time in 20 seconds so multiplying both values so energy w is equal to 1800 joule here the required result energy w is equal to 1800 joule best of luck subscribe our channel for more videos and more medical problems best of luck take care allah